No more war. No more children scampering for safety. No more evacuees. No more lost school days or school months. No more injustice. No more misgovernance. No more poverty. No more fear and no more want. Tama na. We are all tired of it. What is the way forward toward a just and lasting peace? When President Benigno Aquino III assumed office in 2010, he made sure that the Mindanao peace process would become a top priority of his administration, recognizing that genuine autonomy is the solution to realize the Bangsamoro aspiration. The parties agreed that the status quo was unacceptable. So together, they began to work for the creation of a new autonomous political entity that would truly reflect the Bangsamoro aspiration and replace the current autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao. On March 27, 2014, the GPH and the MILF achieved a historic milestone after 17 years of negotiations with the signing of the Comprehensive Agreement on the Bangsamoro or CAB. The CAB is the final peace pact between the GPH and the MILF. As a political settlement, the CAB recognizes the legitimacy of the Bangsamoro aspiration for self-governance through democratic processes. The CAB provides a roadmap towards the creation of a new autonomous region called Bangsamoro by 2016. With the signing of the CAB, a new hope has dawned. What is the roadmap towards the Bangsamoro? The Bangsamoro Transition Commission, or BTC, will represent a diverse group of people in the proposed region observing the principles of inclusivity and transparency by holding consultations with various stakeholders drafted the Bangsamoro Basic Law or BBL. The draft BBL was submitted to the Office of the President and it was reviewed and finalized. On September 10, 2014, the Office of the President and the BTC turned over the draft Bangsamoro Basic Law to Congress and it was certified as an urgent bill. The bill now both in the House of Representatives and Senate is being reviewed for passage. Once passed, the Bangsamoro Basic Law will undergo popular ratification by registered voters in the proposed territory of the Bangsamoro. Upholding the consent of the governed, the people will decide if they wish to be part of the Bangsamoro. The results of the plebiscite will determine its geographical scope. Once the BPL is approved by the majority of the population in the Bangsamoro, the ARMM will be deemed abolished. The Bangsamoro Transition Authority, or BTA, will then be formed to serve as interim government during the transition from ARMM to Bangsamoro. The members of the BTA shall be appointed by the President. Once Bangsamoro officials are elected in 2016, the BTA will no longer exist. The Bangsamoro will have a ministerial form of government. The registered voters shall elect their representatives in the Bangsamoro Assembly who in turn will elect among themselves the chief minister. The chief minister will then choose the deputy and other ministers to form the cabinet. Most of the ministers shall come from the assembly. An exit document officially terminating the peace negotiation may be crafted and signed by the GPH and the MILF if and only when all agreements have been fully implemented. Alongside the roadmap to the creation of the Bangsamoro, while the bill is being deliberated and passed by Congress, a normalization process will also be implemented. Normalization aims to ensure human security in the Bangsamoro. It is a process whereby communities can achieve their desired quality of life, which includes the pursuit of sustainable livelihood and political participation within a peaceful, deliberative society. The process of normalization has three main components. Security aspect, socio-economic development, and transitional justice. The security aspect of normalization includes policing, the commissioning of MILF forces and weapons, redeployment of the armed forces of the Philippines from or within conflict-affected areas, and the disbandment of private armed groups. The MILF shall undertake a gradual program for decommissioning so that their forces are put beyond use. This includes activities for a smooth transition of the Bangsamoro Islamic Armed Forces to productive civilian lives. Socio-economic development programs shall be undertaken for the rehabilitation, reconstruction, and development of the Bangsamoro to address the needs of the Bangsamoro Islamic Armed Forces, internally displaced persons, and poverty-stricken communities. 
Transitional justice mechanisms will also be put in place to heal the wounds of conflict by addressing the legitimate grievances of the Bangsamoro, correcting historical injustices, and addressing human rights violations. Part of the confidence-building measures of normalization is the transformation of MILF camps into peaceful and productive communities, and amnesty, which will be defined in its parameters. With the signing of the CAB, more work will be done in the implementation of its various political, socio-economic, and security components for us to fully reap the fruits of our endeavor. Bye-bye.